Welcome back, my friends. Should you not give up on your dreams? Move on to new ideas if old ones don't work. It's not about not giving up on your dreams. It's about having the right dreams that are fitting the market demand. I see too many people have these dreams and ideas that only work in their heads and they push them and push them and they don't make any money and they struggle for many years. You have to know when to drop it and do what works. Although often doing what doesn't work shows you what does, for me it did, I've failed many ideas that I've actually implemented. I've spent a lot of investors and my own budget, but it didn't go for nothing. And new ideas were born from failures. New ideas get born from failure. Failure is how we learn. In school, you're considered a loser if you fail, but that is not true. Failure is good as you have opportunity to do things right the second time and see what didn't work. In school, they make you feel bad if you failed and label you as a loser. And for the rest of your life, you feel that way if you failed in school and got bad grades, but really you win by losing. If I didn't fail by trial error for over a decade, I wouldn't be where I am now. The reason school teaches you to get the right answers and not to fail is because they are training factory workers, not entrepreneurs. In the early 1900s, Carnegie, Rockefeller, and the other rich needed factory workers, so they took over the education system to create workers for themselves, and that still exists now. So if you want to be an employee at a factory, then be my guest. Why not? Many people enjoy their corporate careers, and it has its perks, but this is not what this program is about. This program is about giving you the mindset to go over seven figures of income where you need to apply leverage to achieve that. Without leverage, you can't go over around 300K income a year. I have seen a lot of high paid people like top management around 250K salary after tax to take home half. Real estate agents making 300K around, but that already provides you leverage. Real estate provides leverage. So if you have multi-unit apartments or a park, which I myself into mobile parks, it's least liability and it's uh, easy for expansion and opportunities. Any salary has no leverage at all. You get linear pay. You get what you get. You get paid, say, 30 bucks an hour. That is money per hour. 99% of people make money in a linear way when actually the 1% applies the leverage towards their income. In fact, they leverage the other 99% of people's labor, time, and siphon their money. They brainwash them at school to work for them so they can then leverage and harvest their time and labor to get rich. If you want to get rich yourself and join the club, then you need to exit that system and create your own system, a leverage system that generates income while you sleep. See, they put propaganda in people's heads that by working hard is how you make money. But you make money by leveraging resources like OPM, OPT, debt, real estate, and many other. What you want to do is do less work. Actually, find ways of how to do less and less work. For instance, anything I can outsource for and hire someone for, I do it to liberate my valuable time, and so should you. Become good at managing people, then you can leverage their time and labor to accomplish tasks. If you do the work yourself, then you only have so many hours in a day. But if you hire five people to do the same task, then they have five times more time than just you. So that provides you with five times the results at least. And also, combined with synergy of the team, it's more like 50 times the results. In college, they tried to fail me because I always put together teams of people to accomplish homework and projects using leverage, and we did fantastically, but they didn't like it, and I got in trouble. 
But after that, I have started my own company doing exactly that, and now I make 50 to 100 times more than my professors did. So this simple secret of leveraging other people's time is so important because if you don't leverage other people's time and do everything yourself, there's no way you will get rich. You have to create teams and scale them. Check out books on leadership by John Maxwell to elaborate on leadership. He has written many excellent books on this topic and I highly recommend checking, out, checking them out. Thanks for listening and I will see you next time.